Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In uh, today's video, we will be discussing about uh, LPP problem, how to solve LPP using graphical method, but on a GeoGebra platform. All right. Now, uh, GeoGebra is a platform where we can uh, give the inputs of LPP and uh, it is going to solve it automatically and we'll get the solution of that, right? In my earlier videos, I have uh, solved LPP using manual uh, graphical method approach, but today I have brought for you all a GeoGebra platform for solving LPP by graphical method approach, right? Now, before starting, uh, all those who have not subscribed to my channel and they are watching my video, please subscribe to my channel and like my video if you uh, understand the content and share it with your friends, colleagues as much as you can. All right. So let's start with the problem. Now, this is the website. This is the interface where you can, uh, uh, where we are going to solve the problem. Now, over here in the left hand side, you can see the input section. Now, first of all, I am going to give certain inputs of the LPP problem. Uh, let's suppose first constraint of my is X plus Y is less than equal to 30. This is my first constraint. Second constraint is 0X plus Y is uh, greater than equal to 3. Then uh, third constraint is 0 less than equal to Y less than equal to uh, this is 12. Then next constraint is uh, x, sorry, 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 20. Then last constraint is x minus y is uh, uh, greater than equal to 0. All right. Now this is, these are my five constraints. If I zoom out this, you can visualize this uh, uh, graph. This is how the graph looks like, right? Now I want a visible area which is common to all the five constraints. All the five constraints should be met. So A and and B and and C then D E. I want that all these five constraints should be met in the feasible area and I want to have a feasible area which is common to all the five equations. So you can see here this is my feasible area. You can see this shaded part this is the feasible area of the problem. Now the thing is we have to find out first of all the corner points of the feasible area because solution lies somewhere around these corner points itself. All right. Now before finding out the corner points that is the intersection points I am going to give the inputs of inequalities in a way wherein I am going to not consider the signs like you remember first equation was x plus y less than equal to 30. Now I am writing it as x plus y equal to 30, right? Then I am writing 0x plus y equal to 3, all right? Then I am writing 0x plus y equal to 12. Then I am writing uh, x plus 0y equal to 20. Then I am writing x minus y equal to 0, all right? So I have written them in the form of equations. Now I have to find out the uh, intersection points. All right. Let's suppose I want to calculate the intersection point this one. Now this is the intersection between equation 5 and equation 2. So what I am going to give input intersect equation 2 comma equation 5. I am getting this intersection point corner point. All right. Let's find out the second intersection point that is between equation 5 and equation 3. Intersect equation 3 comma equation 5. All right. The next intersection point is this one. This is between equation 3 and equation 1. So intersect equation 1 comma equation 3. Then next intersection point equation 4 and equation 1 intersect equation 1 comma equation 4 okay last one is equation 2 and equation 4 intersect equation 2 comma equation 4 okay so now I have got all the five intersection points now I want to see where my solution lies for that I have to give the uh, input of objective function in the form of z x comma y is equal to 
2x plus 3y. This is my objective function, guys. Uh, and I, this is a maximization case. Fine. Now, maximization of z is 2x plus 3y. And I have given the input of uh, objective function in this way. All right. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to find out the values of this objective function at all the intersection points. Sorry, that is uh, capital A, I suppose. Capital A, right? Then intersection point B, then intersection point C, then intersection point D, then intersection point E. All right. So now I have calculated the intersection points values for the objective function. Like for the A intersection point, the value of objective function is coming out to be 15. At point B, the value is 60. At point C, the value is 72. At point D, the value is 70. And at point E, it is 49. As I mentioned earlier that this is a problem of maximization. So maximum value I am getting at is point C that is 72. So this is going to be my answer in case it is a problem of maximization. If it was a minimization problem, then 15 would have been the answer. All right. So uh, this was LPP problem solving graphical approach, but on a GeoGebra platform. Okay. So I hope this is clear to all of you and uh, if you have any doubts, you can put me a message in a comment box. I would be happy to help that and if you understood the content, please do share it with your friends, colleagues and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.